What's going on, YouTube? It's time for an X Factor Choice Pack here in NHL 24. And I'm going to go through my no money spent team and let you guys take a look at what I've been building so far. Now, everyone above me is saying hello to YouTube. So that means YouTube, you have to say hi back to Twitch. Otherwise, you're going to hurt their feelings. You don't want to do that. Uh, Crash says this man isn't wearing any pants and he is correct. But let's go ahead and get into this pack opening. If you're new, don't forget to follow on Twitch and subscribe on YouTube. Let's see what we get in our X Factor Choice Pack. The prediction is if I'll pull a 78 or better. That's like McDavid, McCarr, all those cards. Most people actually do it. It's 50-50 down the middle. 25 people on yes and 25 people on no. What are we going to get? We'll start from the back. Card number one. Artemi Panarin at 77. That is not going to count for the prediction, but it's not a bad card. I'm not going to lie to you. This is a pretty good card. You get it upgraded a little bit. It's a pretty good card. That would be a card that makes my team. All right. Now, again, this is my no money spent team. Do I want Larkin? Of course, but I would love McDavid a lot more. But either way, uh, let's see what we can get here. Larkin's my favorite player. I would love to get him. Connor McDavid is the best card in the entire game. Obviously want him. Any of the 78s probably make my team? Quinn Hughes. All right. Does not count for the prediction, but we have 77 Hughes. Very good defensive card. Like, very good card here, man. Uh-oh. All right. It comes down... To the middle card will we get anyone good i want larkin i know he's not a 78 but i want larkin for my team but i want mccarr or mcdavid or whatever for my no money spent team so let's see what we get card number three in the x factor choice pack it's gonna be jack eichel so it's a no for the prediction we do not get a 78 or better we don't get mcdavid or anything but now I have a decision to make on who to take for my team. Eichel's good, and Hughes is small for a defenseman, even though it's an amazing card. 93 skating on it already. I think I probably have to end up going Eichel, right? Ah, oh, man. That's tough. It's tough. It's tough. Because I know Hughes is going to be a great card in EA because they're in Vancouver. Just give random upgrades to Vancouver cards for no reason. So he'll be a 99. Yeah, I'm going to go Eichel. I'm going to go Eichel. There it is, Jack Eichel, welcome aboard and welcome to the team. All right, so after yesterday's pack opening and X Factor Choice Pack, let's go ahead and take a look at the no money spent team for the first time here in NHL 24. It's all right, but it's not great. So on line one, we have Jack Eichel, who we just added. I did upgrade him a little bit. Joe Sackick and then Marion Hosa. I got out of the quest for 99 set. You get a free random team builder and I got Marion Hosa. Now, the first thing I'm going to say about my first line is Joe Sackick is probably one of the best cards in the entire game right now. He's extremely cheap to make. You only need 40 gold players, so I highly suggest you go make him. Hosa, former wing, has also been absolutely awesome for me. He's over a point per game. He's got decent skating. This is a great card as well. On my second line, I have Natalie Spooner, Marie Philippe Poulin, and Jack Hughes. This is a very small line, but very crafty, very fast. Spooner has 35 points for me in 26 games. She's been great. Poulain has my favorite ability in the entire game. And that's Gold Born Leader. And Jack Hughes is Jack Hughes. I actually just recently got him. I've only played 12 games with him. He has eight points so far on the second line. On the third line, we have Debrinkat, Nico Hishier, and Alex Burrows. I've got to start working on getting these upgrades for these MSPs and Icons and X-Factors, of course. But for the third line, they've been all right. And right now, because it is Rivals Burst, my fourth line is Raymond, Turkalainen, and Heedle. Um, they all have the two-way forward ability, and that's why they are here right now. Uh, your fourth line really doesn't matter when you're playing Rivals Burst, because the periods are just so short that your fourth line never sees the ice anyways. On defense, I have Seth Jones with Rasmus Dahlin. This is my first X-Factor of the year, and he's been pretty damn good. I'm not going to lie. I actually really like his card. I have him fully maxed out now. And yeah, no, I really like this card. He's going to be on the team for a very long time. And then Seth Jones has well over a point per game for me. So, I mean, it can't really go wrong with my first D pair. Then we have Latang with Riley. I actually just bought Latang, Like, just bought him. Yeah, 12 games. So that's uh, yesterday and today so far. Seven points. Not bad at all. And even more recently than that, I have Morgan Riley, who I got out of my uh, win streak reward, 83 overall, Morgan Riley. So there he is. Lastly, we have Darnell Nurse and Dimitri Orlov. Orlov will not be on the team much longer. I was going to upgrade him to 85, but I just don't see a point. Not a bad card by any means, but third line D pair doesn't really matter. Darnell Nurse has played 12 games for me and has zero points, but he has the synergy that I need. So good enough. In terms of goalies, I've been using Philip Grubauer. He is 29 and 3 for me with some decent stats. In the end, I don't think goalies matter yet again this year. They're the same as last year and the year before and the year before. Some goalies are going to be amazing for some players, and some of them are really going to suck for others. 
In terms of synergies, I only have the two-way defenseman and two-way forward synergies active. I am working on the sniper forward, but in order to do that, I gotta remove some players, and I don't want to do that right now, so just these two for now. And of course, after rewards next week, the team will probably change drastically, but hey, for now, it's looking pretty solid. For abilities, I'm pretty sure every ability is active except for Thunderclap and Heatseeker. Other than that, everyone's abilities are active, all 50 ability points are being used, and it's pretty solid, honestly, being able to use everyone's points right now. I'm currently in Division 2 of Rivals here in NHL 24 for my No Money Spent team. And my record so far is 30-10-1, so it's been a pretty good start for the No Money Spent team. However, I really haven't played that many games when you look at it. I've had the game for, what, two weeks now, and I've only played 41 games. So, being honest with you, I think it's time to start grinding. Now, anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and let me know down below what you think of my No Money Spent squad here in NHL 24. After rewards next week, I'll probably add some more icons, maybe do some more X-Factor upgrades and whatnot. But I'm going to try and keep you guys updated on this team throughout the year. Every couple weeks, every three, four weeks, I will do an update video. I did it all last year. You guys seem to enjoy it. I'll bring it back this year and just keep doing update videos on my No Money Spent squad. But for now, I'm out of here. Again, I appreciate you watching. Have a great night. And I'll see you all tomorrow with another video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Stay frosty.